Okay, so it's been a while. Yeah, I think mostly because, you know, same shit, different day kind of thing, and nothing's really changed. Um, still interviewing. No job yet. Um, so on Sunday, I will be going to the uh, Amazon warehouse, I guess. Um, they pretty much hire anybody who will show up, I guess, is what I understand. So, it's kind of my last ditch efforts, fail safe, kind of, you know, I don't want to do it, but at this point I'm running out of options and don't really have much of a choice so the good thing is is it's um, only part-time and uh, the hours are like I think like midnight to 5 a.m. so you know that gives me a lot of time during the day you know to keep looking for a job so and still bring in a little bit of money well, that's good. I mean, I don't know if that's what I'll end up doing. Um, I did have a job interview on Tuesday. It was Tuesday, and um, I was really, I was really hopeful. I really was. I was excited, and I, I've been excited about a lot of interviews I've done, um, and and it's just it's becoming this. You know, I don't want to get excited about anything because so far. Nothing. Just disappointment. So. I mean, he said he would be calling people on Thursday. Today's Thursday. Didn't get a call. Doesn't surprise me. I never do. <clears throat> um, I mean, I guess there's still a chance that I'll get a call tomorrow. But I doubt it. So... Um, it's been a rough week. Um, our, one of our dogs died. She'd been sick for a while, you know, but it, it, it hit really fast. Um, she was sick for the last month. I mean, I don't have any idea how she had been feeling up to that point because you know dogs can't talk but her symptoms became very obvious about a month ago um it was scary i mean i knew it was coming um when she started limping was the first thing that she she started doing was she was limping and um she was an old dog so at first it didn't concern me that much until I started to notice signs of like distress and like extreme pain when dogs are in a lot of pain they pant like constantly and that's exactly what she had been doing she was just panting and you'd hear her kind of whimper sometimes and um, she's having trouble getting up and down moving around walking um, and then about two weeks ago, I guess it was maybe a little bit more than that, um, she started peeing uh, blood. That was scary. Um, like, not just like, you know, blood in your urine. I mean, it was just, it was blood. It was pure so anyway, that was um, really, really frightening, and um, we took her to the vet again, because we had taken her to the vet originally when the, the limp was getting worse or wasn't getting better. I just, it was killing me that she was hurting, and so I took her in, they gave her some anti-inflammatories, and then sent us home, and... Um, about three or four days after we went to that vet, um, 
is when the bloody urine started. <clears throat> so then we we took her to a different vet the, that following week, um, and he gave her an antibiotic and some more anti-inflammatories. And the urine cleared up. I mean, it 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 was per perfectly normal. Uh, the limp didn't go away though, and um, she went to lay down um, early Sunday morning. We we're night owls around here, so we are up really late, and uh, so it was it was early Sunday morning. Yeah, and. Uh, when we got up in the afternoon, um, it didn't really give it much thought at first because she's been sleeping a lot. Um, she pretty much most spends most of her time, I'm sorry, spent most of her time um, in her bed. And so it wasn't unusual for her to, to be sleeping. Um, and so, you know, we didn't initially... The bells didn't go off initially until my boyfriend came downstairs um, when he got up uh, in the afternoon and went to take the dogs outside. And normally she she gets really happy and excited whenever he comes down. And I noticed that she didn't respond at all when he came down. And then when I called her, she didn't respond to me. Um... And then, you know, of course I got up and found her. That was very traumatic. She was a good dog. She was a really good dog. We only had her for two and a half years, I guess. Um, she was an old dog. So, I mean, we knew that we weren't going to have her for a long time. Um, in, in fact, originally she was foster, um, and, uh, we just never let her go. So, anyway, we got her ashes back on yesterday. Yeah, we got them back yesterday. She's the biggest dog I've ever had. I've never had, most of my dogs... Um, usually are below 50 pounds. Um, generally, when I get, when I have dogs, um, she was almost 70 pounds. So, she was certainly the b biggest dog I've ever had. Um, anyway. So, I, I felt really bad. My boyfriend had to pick her up and carry her to the car. Um... And that was, that was horrible. Oh, I know it was horrible for him, but, <clears throat> you know, we took her to the vet um, so they could hold on to her until she could be cremated. Um, it was a Sunday, so there wasn't really anything else we could do. Um, I don't like burying my animals in the yard. Um... Just because I may not I may not always be in this house, so it makes more sense to me to have them cremated, keep them with me, and then you know, hey, when I die, you can either you can cremate me and you know bury us all together i I don't really care, but um, I just like having them with me, but uh. It was really hard. It was hard. It was hard to say goodbye. I felt guilty. I mean, who doesn't feel guilty? Um, that that morning, um, Bo and I were sitting here or we watching TV or something. I don't remember. But Wesley, my little... Where'd he go? Where'd he go? No? There he is. Say hi, Wesley. You tell them all that you're a good boy. Hmm? He's a good boy. He started acting peculiar. He started acting strangely. Um, early Sunday morning, uh, he um, he ran to her bed 
and was very excited. Um, and we just thought he was being, <laughs> we just thought he was being a jerk, basically, that he we wouldn't leave her alone. But now, looking back, of course, I know why he was behaving that way. He's the only dog that, no, not that he noticed, but I think he is the only dog that is sensitive to that type of thing. And um, I think he knew. And he was trying to alert us to it. But... Yeah, we didn't get we didn't catch it. So I felt I felt guilty about that because he tried and we fussed at him and we told him to leave her alone and um let her sleep. So I mean you like to think I mean I personally believe she had a heart attack when we first got her. Um, she tested positive for heartworm and, um, it was agreed upon between us and the vet that because of her age, doing the harsh, um, treatment on her would be almost as dangerous as the heartworms themselves. So we did what they call, um, slow kill, which basically means that you give, you give them you know, two heart guard, um, heart worm preventative pill, um, shoes twice a month. So she would get a heart worm pill, um, uh, once every two weeks. And we did that for as long as we've had her. But, you know, I think that they comp maybe compromised her heart and she had fought that infection um, and she was, I think she was fighting something else as well. And her heart just gave out. I mean, I wish I could have been there. I mean, I wish I, I, I I've, I've got this thing with my dogs. I, I, I hate the idea of them dying alone. And technically she wasn't alone. We were here. But, um. I don't know. They're, they're just, you want to be holding them. You know, you want them to feel like they're not alone. Sorry. Anyway, it's been a rough week. <laughs> um, she was a good dog. She was a very timid dog, but um, I think the last year of her life, she was very content and she felt very safe and she was happy. So really couldn't ask for more than that. Um, we're going to miss her. I mean, it's funny when you have dogs. Um, there's something always that's unique to them. Um, there's just, there's, it doesn't matter how many dogs you have, um, over the course of your life. Um, there's always something that's very unique to them and, um, You'll never replace them. You'll never find another one just like them because every dog is different. You know, everybody has their own personality, but um, she loved her toys. She she had a total of four toys that she cherished in the time that we had her and she didn't destroy them. I mean, they were her babies. She carried them around when she was super excited and happy. She would squeak her toy. Um, and that I've never had a dog that was like that. And she was the only one. And, and you know, and of course now we have all these little dog toys laying around the house that were hers. And um, she was really the only one who um, loved them and I, we haven't picked them up yet. But we will. Anyway, I'm going to go. <laughs> Y'all don't want to see me cry. So, um, if I hear from this job that I interviewed for this week, I'll update but I doubt very seriously that I'll hear from them. That's just not my luck, apparently. 
Um, but I will, I guess, update on what happens, whatever happens. Um, so, alrighty then. We'll see you later, maybe. I don't know the way things have been going. <laughs>